Welcome to the project demonstration of speed control of AC induction motor by using cyclo converter by providing the input from the blink application through IoT technology. So let me explain you the, for the process. So from the blink application we need to set the level for this AC induction motor. The levels are 0 to 4 and based on the level input microcontroller will control the frequency to this induction motor based on the input from this zero crossing detector by controlling the uh, like switching to this uh, eight thyristors so the eight thyristors are connected in this manner to make the cyclo converter that is single phase to single phase so there are the number of like uh, single phase to three phase and three phase to three phase cyclo converters so now we are implementing single phase to single phase cyclo converter so here the main aim is to control the speed of this ac induction motor we need to control the frequency that is a variable frequency so cyclo converter will convert the fixed frequency and fixed voltage to variable frequency and variable voltage so how we are going to vary the frequency to control the speed of the induction motor so let me explain in the switching frequency base so whenever the ac waveform starts the positive way of cycle of the AC voltage 230 volts starts so now the 230 volts input is in, uh, uh, input to this transformer so which will transform the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC to this regulated power supply board so which will take the 230 volts uh, 12 volts AC and provide as a 5 volts constant DC that is operating voltage to our microcontroller and parallelly same 12 volts AC is input to this zero crossing detector on this one we can see the db107 which will act as a bridge rectifier and from there the pulsating dc is input to this transistor so whenever the ac waveform starts then automatically the transistor will get switched on at the voltage of 0 0.07 ohms so for the negative current also the rectifier will convert that to the positive current then also the transistor will get switched on once it reaches to zero and again when it reaches to the starts the current again so like on and off will be occurred in between the cycle change means the polarity changes so now whenever the transistor gets switched on a microcontroller will capture the time then we are going to on the one and three so this uh, circuit is a positive converter and this is the negative converter circuits so this is the positive uh, thyristor circuits is a negative thyristor circuit so whenever the positive waveform starts here okay then the microcontroller will switch on the one and three thyristors so the positive waveforms will pass it through the one to the load so now we'll get the positive here and it will be neutralized with the help of three and to the neutrals closed loop done so passes here one to the load and three to the neutral again same thing when we are getting the negative current input with the transistor off and again when it is on then microcontroller will convert uh, the switching to the 2 and 4 so whenever the negative waveform starts here then to the 4 to the load again it getting the same current as a negative current and from there to the 2 to the neutral so here also in the first positive off cycle we are getting positive here for the negative off cycle same we are getting the negative here and positive over here so both are converted into the positive currents only and whenever we change, uh, switch into the next cycle then this whole circuit will be off when the positive off cycle this will be works and this will be off and when the negative uh, the, for the conversion of this next frequency to the negative currents then this will be off and we are same manner we are going to switching the uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 thyristors. So now whenever the uh, second frequency positive FM starts then the microcontroller will switch off this four and now it will pauses and stops here. So now here we are going to on the 5 and 7. So when the 5 got switched on it will pass to the load. So now it will become the uh, positive here and the next it will be neutralized through the 7 right so now we will get the same positive and over negative here and then 
yeah, yeah. Sorry. So the positive arrow starts here, so it will process to the when we switch on this. Uh, sorry, we need to uh, switch on the right five and six, five and uh, seven. Then the circuit right coming to the next uh, current frequency. Sorry, we need to on the six and h. So positive arrow starts here and will go to the this junction. So as the h gets switched on, so it will passes to the h and to here. So there we get the positive here and negative in the top. So we are getting the negative current. Same thing for the when the negative starts here, then phi will get switched on as the thyristor will have the negative current in this manner. Okay, so it will pass to here and then we get the same negative here and positive in the opposite side. So the second uh, cycle section, so the frequency was a pulse, first pulse and second pulse. The positive off cycle will passes through the uh, eight and 6 negative current 5 and 7 so here positive current 1 3 negative current 2 and 4 so in this manner we are going to getting the negative current continuously so this keep on uh, setting the frequency through the microcontroller based on the input signal from our IOT section when it is 0 totally 0 off total frequency is 0 when you are increasing that the frequency will be uh, increases so parallel the speed will be decreases so let us see the demonstration of the project so before on the kit we need to install the uh, blink application blink cloud from the play store log into the given gmail id and password and then change the hotspot name right change the hotspot name to project 5833 all are small letters without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after these changes on the hotspots and data so and log into the thingspeak uh, cloud platform directly which is available in the play store now you can on this so when we open this blink application there we can see the device is offline means there is no connection to the kit there is no internet connection also so after one more step is when you give the power supply to this hold this reset switch hold this reset switch till uh, the device come to online there is offline over here right now it is online so after seeing the online release the switch means we should hold the microcontroller till the device connected to the online right okay so let me set this speed one so now it's rotating zero full speed three two off okay you do some trigger pulse from this microcontroller it's started with the low speed so instead of zero so it stops over there also like you can see the vibration is on this motor so let me show you to the one so when you release that speed right zero so in this manner we are going to set the speed to that induction motor and it will slowly comes down <laughs> 